right now, though, let's get some music. I'm going to be back in a moment. And... From the villages of Western yes. Kenya to the airwaves in Nairobi, we meet a multi-talented journalist who isn't afraid to dig deep and leave his mark on primetime television. The chance and the opportunity to arrive at the best available version of the truth is something that's exciting for me. I've reported from something like 40 countries. I have interviewed business leaders, global icons, Oscar and Grammy winners, presidents, prime ministers, all of those different things. And I'm only getting started. Hi, I'm Larry Mitowo, broadcaster, writer, speaker, traveler, fight of trolls based in Nairobi, and this is my Africa. Larry Modowo is one of the biggest names in Kenya TV. But the commission has also been taking instructions from other parties. He created a name for himself using multiple platforms to cover topics from business and politics yes, to pop culture and entertainment. I work on television, I work on print, I work online, I work on radio as well. I speak at a lot of events. I'm a tech wannabe. I'm a wannabe tech, if you can say that. I give a lot of Kenyan artists a platform because I am genuinely a fan of Kenyan music. And I had a show where they had a big audience. And I didn't think of a better way to give back to them than by allowing them onto that platform. With a political TV show, a radio show, and a newspaper column, Larry has his hands full. But before all the fame and success, he had his share of struggles. By 14, he had lost both of his parents. And that my earliest memories are often not having things that other kids had. You, people came to school and talked about, oh, my dad did this, or my mom did this, and I didn't have that. But when we grew up with so much little, we grew up in, with almost no privilege at all, you learn to appreciate the small things. When the trains run on time, when you can get to where you're going without getting stuck in traffic, when you can make a call to a remote part of the country, or you can use mobile money to pay for something. These are small miracles happening every day. And we're living through this in Africa. But I figured there might be one career in which that is useful, and journalism naturally came to me. In 2014, he graduated from Daystar University. Because then you become comfortable and become complacent, and that's a terrible feeling. You stop growing, you stop... He also worked as a freelance writer to help pay tuition. Those articles helped land him his first TV job at KTN, Kenya Television Network. It earned me a job on television as a trainee reporter at the ripe old age of 20. And from then on, I told myself, if I get this job, I'm not going to need to ask for another interview because the next one will come and the one after that. And so far, that has, that has been the case. He had never been in a studio prior to KTN, but he quickly made an impression and moved to NTV, where he hosted The Trend in 2012. They expect journalists to ask the questions, the guests answer, and you say thank you for coming. That's not how I do it. The show explored trending topics in arts, music, entertainment, and technology. Thanks to you and my amazing team, we have built the biggest, the, uh, the highest grossing show on TV. People began to relate with it, and the more and more people started watching it, and it brought Kenyan arts and culture into the mainstream, onto prime time, which had not been done before. One of the most exciting things about my job is you never know what a day is going to turn out to be. You might be interviewing a Nobel Peace Prize winner, or you might be interviewing a market woman, and they're both, they both have valuable insights on the way of life. President Kagame came on, Lupita Nyong'o came on, Malala was on the show, Idris Elba, people like those. And it's just this little show in Kenya that had all these people coming on. It was, it was really great to do. He now hosts the political show Sidebar on NTV. Yes, I want to respond also. I keep doing this because I want to see myself as being involved in the development of my country and my continent. Critical journalism is being able to cover the difficult stories and ask the hard questions. When Larry isn't interviewing politicians on Sidebar, I'm going to need for everybody to just chill out. He hosts the Larry Madowo Show on Nation FM. The Larry Madowo Show on Nation FM is one of my favorite things to do. Right now, though, let's get some music. I'm going to be back in a moment. And I've got some interesting guests also coming up.
He has also left his mark on a more traditional way of delivering news, as a columnist for the Daily Nation. And with more than one million Twitter followers, there's really no media platform he doesn't touch. I don't go out of my way to make it particularly pleasant for them. I speak my mind. It's not always popular, but it's got to be said. I think, oh yes, the content now is like... All oh, right, that is a lot of food. This is a lot of food. It looks, I'm excited. If you're worried about people liking you, you will not be able to leave your house. The, the hate will crush you. <laughs> my sister, come on. <laughs> the best advice anybody ever gave me was my mother, which is to respect everyone. I try to practice that every day. Despite his busy life, Larry still takes the time to speak at events and universities. What's up? Inspiring Thank others. You. I got on TV because somebody took a chance on me without experience, without a, anything really. And what I've tried to do in my career is also to give the same opportunity I was given to someone else. It's sending the elevator back down. The kind of impact I wish to make in my Africa is to show a lot of young kids growing up from underprivileged rural backgrounds like me that it is possible. If you have it and you work at it, the whole world is yours for the taking. Street photography is my passion because there is so much positive stories to tell about my people. This is the least contribution that I can do for my country, Somalia. Yeah.